I just remember, Jake, um, when my kids were young, uh, when they started having birthday parties, and um, they would invite their friends to the house, and their friends were very diverse. And it wasn't really um, an issue with them, where they came from, who their parents were, or what country their parents came from. So I wanted to kind of present um, a place like Cronton, where um, who your parents were, um, you know, wh where your parents came from, didn't really matter, but they were, they were deep friends anyway. That was my first motivation in writing a Cronton series. I wanted a collection of friends who got on and where, um, where you know, they, their particular families came from, it didn't really matter. You know, that wasn't important to the plot. What was important was the emotions of the character and what their home lives were like. And, you know, whether they're dealing with uh, parents who didn't get on, whether they're dealing with poverty, whether they're dealing with a brother who's gone off the tracks or whatever it may be. You know, I just wanted to keep it plot centric, if you like, but, you know, fill in the, um, fill in the book or the cast with these characters from wherever. And McKay, um, his uh, grandmother is Scottish. I, I wanted to make him as diverse as possible. And this is what happens, that occurs now in families all over the world. We're becoming much more diverse, aren't we? Especially in places like London, New York City, and so on. You know, it's no, it's no I mean, even my family is very diverse. So I wanted to um, have McKay, and I've known uh, children, friends of mine who have um, lost a loved one at an early age. And um, the grieving process doesn't necessarily just last until the funeral. Sometimes it could last for much longer than that, you know, to try and get over that um, experience. And so I remembered that um, particularly when I was um, creating McKay. And that was very important for me because children go through these uh, experiences. And sometimes, as I mentioned earlier, adults sometimes dismiss their emotions. Um, for the female characters, I have to admit that I relied on my um, daughter a great deal. So I used to um, say to her, I used to ask all kinds of questions. What would you feel this particular thing happened or what happened to your friends and so on? And she would um, answer me honestly. And um, she was a great help in creating not just Smo, but Elaine and so on. So that was a great help. And also um, for my time in a children's home, that informed me just as much, where, um, again, I was very fortunate. The household that I was living in was white, mixed race, black. And, um, you know, sometimes from um, very close up, I would um, witness what they were going through. I heard the tears at night. I heard the frustrations. I heard all these things and witnessed all these things. And so I felt it was very important that I represent that on a page because sometimes um, I think with, um, especially male writers, when we're writing about inner city communities, we forget about the females. You know, we tend to leave them out of the narrative. So it's very important that I include them in a narrative. The sufferer, it's a, it's a reggae term. And for me, the definition of it is um, someone born into disadvantage who, um, you know, the fact that they were born, it means that they're very low on expectations, the pecking order and class and what, what have you. And so my story um, begins in that way. And I guess after the Steve McQueen uh, drama, and it's only an hour odd, you know, I felt there was a lot more to say. And so I really wanted to fill in the gaps. Um, who knows, I might even do a part two one day, but I just wanted to know I just wanted to uh, express um, the, the, actual, uh, the actual story of why I ended up in care, uh, why these um, uh, things happened to me. You know, I wanted to uh, detail the abuses. I think it's important for people to learn that and understand that. And um, also I want people to learn that, hey, um, I'm not isolated in this. There's so many of us, whether it's in the US or the UK, who um, have to suffer these kind of life experiences. And I think it's very important that those narratives are on the page. Uh, you know, I'm just um, always 
reminded of what Simeon used to tell me uh, when he said, Alex, uh, your story is as important as anybody else's. I don't care if they're a king or queen or prime minister or president, your story is just as important as uh, theirs is. Um, and that, you know, that stuck with me. And so that is, um, you know, why I will write um, stuff for what I write the stories that I do, because I want to give that representation to those sufferers on the page. I've just finished the, uh, the latest Crompton book that will be available uh, in the fall. It's current characters, the next Crompton book. Crompton book. Um, the title is In the Ends, and really it's a sequel to um, Crompton Nights. So the same characters. And um, for me, it's, it's like a treasure island in an urban environment. So that's how I describe it. So um, again, I enjoyed writing it. It's, it was great fun to write it. And um, with characters that I, that I love to death. I would like to write about cricket. I love cricket uh, sports. So uh, expect something uh, sporty for me in the next year or so. That would be wonderful to add to um, what I've delivered already.